morning guys, welcome to today's video. You guessed it, did you guess? <laughs> Sylvie is getting the baby chick spot ready because, what happened? Last night, there were two pipped eggs. Two pipped eggs last night. Two it means two baby chicks. Aren't they adorable? This one's head needs to fluff up still. Yeah. Super cute. Really cute. This one's my favorite. So this one's Sophie's favorite. This one's smaller. This one's bigger. So super cute. So we are back in babies just in time for Christmas. <laughs> and after all these ones packed, we took most of them out because they weren't. So we've been candling them and a lot of them weren't fertile. So we took all those ones out because they were starting to stink. And if you have non-fertile eggs inside your incubator, they can pop. And when they do, it's not pretty. And then it gets all over the babies and you have to clean the babies and blow dry them. Yeah, it's gross. So. How the heck was this supposed to come today? So. Okay, this was definitely a girl. She's I hope, cute. I, I hope that one's the girl, the black one. Absolutely adorable. Okay, like I was talking to the babies when they were still in their eggs and one was yelling at me like so loud and it was this one. This one yells. This yeah, one you can talk hurts. to them when they're in their egg. Super cute though. They can't walk it. Yeah, it takes like a good 24 hours for baby chicks to be able to walk really well. I mean, sometimes they do. It happens quickly. <laughs> Already fighting. Can't walk, but they're fighting. This one looks like a penguin. <laughs> that one's so cute. It is absolutely adorable. And that one, that one hatched second, didn't it? Yeah, this one hatched second. Yeah. By tomorrow, they'll be up and running. So Hi. we're gonna leave them in the incubator. Hi. Did you guys know that when you leave baby chicks in the incubator, that their chirping actually gets the other eggs You're to want to hatch? I can't see through your wings. That one's a girl. Good. We need all the girls we can get. But we're not gonna keep all the babies. Yeah, we're not gonna keep them all. Super You're cute. You're also a girl. You think they're both girls? Yeah, can't see through their wings. <laughs> That's a rooster for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it already pooped. So it is time to restock the little baby pen that we have. It was actually freezing cold outside. We have all these things that we want to do with the horses. I want to like get Willow pulling a sled. But it is dark and dreary and awful. Look how messy our coffee table is. What's this? Anyway, we decided that we're going to try and wrap some of our Christmas presents. We've got a cleaning machine. Shh, don't say it. He edits this. That doesn't clean. It's not a cleaning machine. <laughs> okay, let's not show. Did you see my box? Okay, let's not show everything. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna start bringing down presents and Sophie's gonna help me wrap. It's for dad. What's this? Don't look, Sophie's peeking. Oh, it's that. So we're gonna try and wrap up a bunch of these presents. Well, this is mine. <laughs> and it's good because I love this box. Yeah. Because it's Aritzia, because I got an Aritzia sweater. Sophie asked for an Aritzia Ooh, hoodie. We're Wait, wrapping. <laughs> we're wrapping presents in here. You can't come in. Well, I don't know what they are. No, you don't. No, you don't. These are for you. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So. I got my own tape. I got my own scissors. Every year I buy these reversible rolls. So one side looks like this with little dogs and Christmas presents. And then the other side it looks like this and I end up using alternate sides for each kid, which I love because then you're not buying a gazillion different rolls of wrapping paper. We have officially started wrapping. It's actually amazing how much cuter the tree looks with presents underneath it. I have a lot more stuff to get done, but at least we started. We wrapped for so long, it exhausted the dogs.
What's happening here? I'm playing with Willow. I love this. I love bringing them in here to like do stuff with them. Yeah, can you fix that light? Let's close this. This. Come here, Ellie. Close this so it's warm. You want this light on? There we go. Look, she didn't roll at all. She looks so nice. I came out here specifically to see if her blanket got wrecked in the night. In the day. Hi, Willow. Did you notice how quiet the goats are? They're eating in the round bin. Oh. This is how not to get shocked by a blanket. On the grass in the round pen? Yeah. They're eating the grass? Yeah. So this has become like a hard... I already got it. Oh, what'd you get? The driving harness. Oh, good job. Sophie asked me if I'd help her find the driving harness. Sophie, we should clean this. Yes. Bring it in after you're done and I'll clean it because it looks a little dirty. We have a couple of these pads. How fit? Thick? <laughs> she's a little thick, but she's not super, super. She's thinner than she was in the summer. Yeah, because the grass. Once the grass leaves. I know. Just looking at her, though, gives me so much excitement. Like, I hate winter, and it's so cold, and I we don't... I get a cooler for her. Why? So that when I'm, like, brushing her, I can put the cooler on. Does not defeat the purpose? Well, like, when I'm doing her mane and stuff. You look so cute. This is how I brush the other side of my ponies. I just... Yeah, because you can reach over top of them. Yeah. Look at her hair. She's got hay hair. She's so cute, though. You know what I think we should do this winter? I think we should get Sam to... Dad to turn that heater on for us and get it warm in here and then, like, do stuff with our horses in here. Obviously, they can't, like, run or anything like that, but we can brush them and we could... You could make this into an arena. I could not make this into an arena. Anyway, there is one more thing that I have to get back here. Whew. I should get these. We should bring these to lessons, actually. Because they keep your hands warm. Oh, yeah. But the other thing that I need is a heat lamp for the baby chickens for in the house. So this is one. Oh, and another egg is pipped, Sophie says. Well, there's no light bulb. Oh, there is a light bulb. Wait a minute. Oh, that one might work, actually. All right, I'll bring this one. But the one that I really want has a net around it, and I like that one a lot better. Oh, some socks. These are my favorite kind of socks. <laughs> Bringing those in. All right, well, I can't find the one that I want, but I'm going to see if Sam can get that one to work for me. I also found another staple gun, which I love. I'm actually going to try one of these right now because I'm frozen. So what you do... Oh, good, they're not wrecked. She's like, give me some. What's one thing you mistakenly taught your horse, Sophie says? Put your foot down. She puts her foot right down. Because, let me tell you, because she always thinks I want her to give me the paw for a fist bump. So I say, put your foot down and she puts your foot down. Oh, I think that's cool. Look how cute you look. All right. Here, can I shape them? Oh, yeah. Okay. So basically, you take these things and you shake them. Once you get them open, and then you stick it inside your mitt. It's not shaking yet. Yeah, mine's not even getting warm yet. They're too old. Are they? No, <gasps> it's warming up. Oh. And you put it inside your little mitt, and then you pray that it works. So far, mine is not working. Is yours working? Yeah. Oh, I might feel it a little tiny bit. I have a pink and gray neck, neck rope, rope. And I need it to dry. I think I saw it on here before. She got a neck reining rope. Neck rope. Neck rope. A few years ago. I don't know and where I it is. And I need it to attach the thing to Willow. I swear I heard Penny call me. Where was it? Up here. Oh, I knew it was up there. Yay! 
I swear I heard Penny call me. Oh, it's cold. What? I came out here to say hi to my horse and give her a treat. Wait, they're already gone, Sophie. Your horses are so smart. I'm going to go check. Sophie's like, be really careful. Don't let the horses. I attach that to there, and then there's a thing at the end of this. Sophie's like, don't let the horses know where and we're going. Don't she, leave. If she freaks out, then I can just quickly. Okay, can I get the sled? I'm not using the sled. I'm using a, the like, box thing. Okay, so anyway, she's like, don't lead the horses to us. Let's go see where they are. So I went out there to see my horse because, oh, they're here. <laughs> I made a mistake. Oh, no. <laughs> that, my friends, is how smart horses are. So Sophie went and got Willow. That's all she did was get Willow. <laughs> and because she got Willow, Penny thinks that Sophie's going to go where we went yesterday and when we went there, we worked with the horses and the horses got rewarded. So Penny went there. As Soon as Willow left, Penny went to where she thought she was gonna be. The last place Sophie took her. Isn't that so smart? Penny's already there. <laughs> no, she's about to get out. no. I'm not line driving with horses there. All right, well let me, can I work with Penny over the poles while you? you have a Why do I have to use a halter? Because your horse is going to chase my horse. No, she's not. She's not a chaser. Oh, hey, 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 come on. Crap, how did that happen? Oh. What do you think you're doing, little missy? Hey! <laughs> come on with me, come on. How'd you get out? Come on. Come on, oh, she wants to go back with the goats. Look, there's your girl. Lola, come here. Let's we'll take her with us. No. All right, come on, Lola. She wants to go back with I don't know. In. Yeah, Lola finally fits in. That's a girl. Come on, Ellie. That's how she got out. Go with your. Oh, she can't get through. Crap. You literally think you have all this fencing up and that nobody can get through it? I have no idea how she got through there. I have no idea. Like, there's absolutely no way she could get out. So this morning when I was doing chores, I let the goats out. You guys know I've been sharing with you that Lola is like the lone girl because she's a baby. She's new to the herd. She has nobody to protect her. We like introduced her really slowly to the herd. Actually, we kept her out for a month before she had like testing and stuff done. And then we introduced her really, really slowly. Actually, was it only a couple of weeks? Anyway, I, mean, I think it was three weeks. She has been doing amazing. She is slowly getting into the herd. Like she's slowly fitting herself into the herd. Come on. Um, but they still don't really like her very much. And then this morning when I went there, Baby Blossom, you guys know Sophie's other big, big love, baby goat love. She's out there and she was playing with her and Lola is pulled, meaning she doesn't have any horns. I'm sure she's pulled. Blossom was literally playing with her, headbutting with her, and she was doing it so gently and so lightly, she either knows that she has no horns or she understands she's a baby. Hi. <laughs> you wanna ride tonight? Hey? Do you like it? Yeah? <laughs> Everybody got locked out. <laughs> Look at my little sporty girl. Come here, Allie. Hi, Pen. Sophie will kill me if I bring you in with me. I'm sorry, I'll come back. Nope. Come here, Ellie. Stop being like that. Come here. Over the pole, come on, over the pole, yes, come on. Come on, yeah. Over the pole, come on. Come on, come on, good girl. You, you, no. Come on, over the pole, come on, come on, come on. Come on. No. Come on. <laughs> good girl. I don't know if you guys can see that so well, her going over the poles. Yeah, she wants to go back with her friends. That's definitely not setting yourself up for success. <laughs> and over the poles, come on. Over the poles, come on, look. Over the poles. Come on back, this way, Ellie. That's it, over the poles, over the poles.
Stop. Stop eating Ruby's feet. Here. Sit. Sit. Wait. Wait. No. Wait. Oh my gosh. Even the goose is here. I mean, even the duck is here. What the heck? Where did that come from? Let's see if Honey knows her name. Honey! 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 Nope. Penny's like, are you calling me? Because I'll be honey. I'll be whoever you want me to be. These hot things in my mitts are like amazing. Definitely taking them to the lessons with us. Who just went under the fence? Did you watch her go under the fence? No, but she did. What a dumb pony. Anyways, um, so even though I said that I'm not gonna like rush and buy horses for my kids to surprise them for Christmas, which I think is a very responsible, mature choice, <laughs> I'm still looking and I'm still like open to the thought and open to the process of finding one. So a couple of days ago, Sophie found the perfect horse. Like, so Sophie looks every day, I look every day and before, and then we send it to one of our trainers. So for whatever horse we're looking for, or like, so Sophie we sent to her trainer and Gabby we sent to her trainer and she found this perfect horse. And Sam saw it and I saw it and it was perfect. It was this big draft cross horse, perfect everything. Could do all the things Sophie wanted. It was like amazing. And Sophie was so excited about this horse. And we were out shopping and we came home and Sam messaged about it. Sold. Sold so fast, you guys. Like sold so fast. So clearly that was not the right horse for us, but it seemed like the perfect horse for us. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the